When I first tried grilling sweet potatoes, I was amazed at how delicious they turned out. In today's video, we're focusing on how to make grilled sweet potatoes that are perfect for any barbecue. You'll love how easy they are to prepare, and I'll show you a unique sweet and smoky glaze that will enhance their flavor. So if you want to impress your friends and family, stick around as I teach you how to make grilled sweet potatoes that everyone will rave about. To get the best texture for our grilled sweet potatoes, it's important to pre-cook them first. This step is key because it ensures that the inside is soft and creamy, while allowing the outside to develop that perfect crispy texture on the grill. You can either boil or bake the sweet potatoes until they're tender. If you choose to boil them, just drop them into a pot of boiling water and let them cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. You want them soft enough to pierce with a fork, but not falling apart. Pre-cooking not only helps us achieve the delicious soft interior, but it also sets us up for a fantastic grilling session. Once they hit the grill, they'll get a nice char while maintaining that fluffy goodness inside, giving you the ultimate sweet potato experience. Now that our sweet potatoes are cooked and tender, it's time to cut and season them for the grill. You can choose to cut the sweet potatoes into wedges or rounds. Either way works great for even cooking. Just make sure to slice them into similar sizes so that they cook evenly on the grill. Once they're cut, the next step is to coat the pieces with a bit of olive oil. This will help prevent sticking on the grill and also enhance the caramelization, giving them a lovely golden color. Just drizzle the olive oil over the sweet potato pieces and toss them to ensure that they're fully coated. Now, let's talk about seasoning. Be generous with your spices. Start with salt and pepper, then add in some chili powder for a bit of a kick. If you want to take things up a notch, you can sprinkle on some cumin for added depth of flavor. Mix everything together well so each piece is nicely seasoned and ready for grilling. This will ensure that your grilled sweet potatoes are bursting with flavor. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to backyard barbecue and want a little extra help with cooking times and temperatures, I've got a free guide that'll make things super easy for you. It covers everything from meats to veggies and it's perfect for getting started. Just drop a 100 in the comments and I'll send it your way. Now, let's make a sweet and smoky glaze that's going to take these grilled sweet potatoes to the next level. For this glaze, you'll need just a few simple ingredients. Maple syrup, lime juice, pinch of red paper flakes or chili powder and a little bit of salt. Start by pouring a few tablespoons of maple syrup into a small bowl. This will add a natural sweetness that pairs perfectly with the potatoes. Next, squeeze in some fresh lime juice to bring a little bit of tanginess and balance out the sweetness. Now, add a pinch of chili powder for that hint of smokiness and a tiny bit of heat. Finally, sprinkle just a touch of salt to round out all the flavors. Now, Mix it all together and there you have it, a glaze that's sweet, smoky, and has just the right amount of kick. And make sure to test the glaze to see if you need to add some more heat or tone it down a little bit by adding more syrup. Before we dive into the process of how to make grilled sweet potatoes, let's talk about the temperature. To achieve the best results, preheat your grill to around 450 degrees. This high heat is important as it helps the sweet potatoes caramelize beautifully on the outside, providing that perfect crispy texture while keeping them soft and tender on the inside. Make sure that your grill is fully preheated before adding the sweet potatoes. This will prevent them from sticking and guarantee even cooking. Once your grill is ready, we're all set to start grilling. Place each piece directly on the grill grates, making sure that they're spaced out so that you can cook them evenly and get those beautiful grill marks. You're going to want to grill the sweet potatoes for about three to five minutes on each side, and you're going to want to keep an eye on them because they can definitely get burnt really fast. This high heat is going to bring out the natural sweetness while creating a crispy exterior. As they grill, you can brush on some of that sweet and smoky glaze that we made earlier. The glaze will start to bubble and caramelize, adding even more depth and flavor. After flipping and brushing with the glaze, let them finish cooking until they're perfectly tender and full of flavor. And now that the sweet potatoes are off the grill, take a look at that beautifully charred exterior. They're crispy on the outside, perfectly tender on the inside with a caramelized glaze that's irresistible. Presentation, sprinkle some chopped green onions or fresh herbs like parsley or cilantro over the top. This adds a pop of color and a hint of freshness that complements the smoky sweet flavors. Perfect as a side dish for any barbecue or even as a snack on their own. All right, now you know how to make grilled sweet potatoes that are perfect every single time, crispy, caramelized, and absolutely delicious. But there's something I didn't mention at the start of this video. Your backyard barbecue setup is missing a game changer. Everything we just covered about grilling sweet potatoes won't matter much if you don't know how to serve up a showstopper. Click on this video right here to see how to make loaded pulled pork tater tots that'll leave everyone begging for more. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more amazing barbecue recipes. I'll see you there.